Hello again, it's Oscar, and in this episode we will talk about OPC UA and how to use it in our Mitsubishi Electric Compact PLCs. So what is OPC UA? It's a global open standard that defines the way of information exchange for industrial communication. It's a client-server-based solution dedicated for communication of devices and sensors. And it can be used within one machine, between different machines and also to send the data from machines to higher level systems like SCADA, MES, ERP or cloud in general. It can be used with any platform, both in IT and OT world, so it doesn't matter if it's Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS or Android. And in case of industrial devices, it's also completely vendor independent. Data model in OPC UA, besides of the values of the process variables, includes also the timestamp, data type and very important, a tag for easy identification of the meaning of this value. So you don't have to know the exact register addresses, variable names, etc. And in communication standards like OPC, security is a crucial topic. And no worries, there are access control, authentication and encryption functions implemented. Now, let me show you how to use this communication in our compact PLCs using FX5 OPC module. So, let's jump into software. So, before we start, we have to download two things. First of all, we will need some OPC UA client to check if our communication is working correctly. So, I choose the UA expert here. So, please visit the website and download this. And also, we will need the FX5 OPC configuration tool. So, this is also the application that you can download from the Mitsubishi Electric uh, website. And now, when we have both of these applications, we can jump directly to GXWorks 3 and start with configuring our PLC and our OPC module. So, let's start with CPU itself. So, in module parameter, we open the Ethernet port and here we have to set up the IP address and subnet mask. And the same procedure for FX5 OPC module. So, module parameter and here, in basic settings, we will find also the IP address and subnet mask. Please be sure to use the different IP address that we have in our CPU. Then we can go to address space parameter. Here we will choose which variables should be available in our OPC UA communication. So I already prepared two variables. So when we go to label and global label, you will find two variables that I already uh, have in my project. So let's go back to the uh, address space parameter. And as you can see, these values are also available here. So let's check them and make them available for our clients. And before we will test our OPC server, we have to be sure that we have the right time settings on our PLC. So let's go to online menu, then set clock, and the easiest way is just to click get time from PC. Execute this to our PLC and OK. Now we, we can upload our project to PLC. And if the project is already uploaded to our PLC, we go to security parameter in GXWorks 3. And here we can choose the security policies of our uh, module. We can, for example, enable the unsecure connection. Uh, we can also see the certificates of our clients. So we see trusted and rejected ones. And we have also the user management here. Now let's open the server certificate. I already prepared one, but if you want to generate the new, please click generate a new self-signed certificate. Here, click yes. And here we just put our data and click generate. We can also see the module diagnostics here. 
so we can see that our server is running. So we should be able to connect this with our OPC client. So to configure OPC client, please open the UA expert again. And here we have to add our server. So right click on servers, add, and here we choose the custom discovery. Here we just put our IP address of FX5 OPC module that we configured and click OK and OK. Uh, we can also choose the security policy. I will choose uh, this one and then we can also choose the authentic authentication settings for users. I will choose the anonymous uh, version. So after this, please click OK. And now we can try to connect to our FX5 OPC server. So right click, connect. And we can see that the certificate of our server is not trusted by our client. So we can see all the details here and we can now click the trust the server certificates. OK, and now click continue. But we still see that we have some error. This is because we already trusted the server from the client side, but we also have to trust the certificate of our client on our server side. So let's open OPC UA uh, module configuration tool again. And here in the rejected certificates, we will find our UA expert client. So let's click on this and move it to trusted. And right now the communication is trusted on both sides, server and client. So write these changes to our module and restart the OPC server. Okay. Now let's try to connect to our server again. So in UA expert, we click on server again and click connect. And this time we don't see any errors. So I think everything should work correctly, but let's check it. So let's open GX works free and UA expert side by side, and we will check our communication. So when we click on our FX5 OPC server here, we can go to objects, device set, and there is FX5 CPU. And here we can see our global values. When we put them to data access view, we already see the values that we have in GX Works 3. When we change them, we immediately see changes on our client side. So it works also for binary value, also for decimal. So yeah, everything is working correctly. So we did a great job. OPC UA is getting more and more popular in many different industries, from automotive, through building automation, to food and beverage and many others. So sooner or later, probably you will be implementing this communication in some of your projects. So I hope that after this video, it will be just a piece of cake for you. And yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.